Hi friends, I am Agil Prince, a third year diploma student of Electrical and Electronics Engineering in GPTC Kalamachari. Today we are going to discuss about the topic factors affecting biodigestion. So before moving on to the topic, we should first know about what is biodigestion. It is an anaerobic digestion. As the name itself indicates, it is a sequence of process by which microorganisms break down biodegradable material in the absence of oxygen. So as I said, the anaerobic digestion means the absence of oxygen, the, that the process happens in the absence of oxygen. Now let's move on to the factors affecting biodigestion. There are mainly two factors, basic factors and environmental factors. So basic factors are further classified as bacteria, food, contact, and time. And the environmental factors are classified as temperature, pH, and toxics. Now let's look into it with details. So basic factors. First one is bacteria. As I said earlier in the definition, the anaerobic, sorry, the organic materials are break down by bacteria. So there are two types of bacteria, acid formers and median formers or methodogens. So acid formers, as the name itself indicates, they convert the biodegradable materials to acids. The optimum pH range for their working is 4.5 to 6.5. Now, the methane formers or methogens, they convert biodegradable materials to methane gas, as the name itself indicates. And the optimal pH range for their working is 6.5 to 7.6. Now, the next point is the food. The organic material acts as the food for the bacteria. They consist of complex organic material. This biodigestion mainly happens in two, two surroundings. One is natural surroundings or artificial surroundings, such as in biogas plants. So the properties of food which affect the biodigestion is the solid concentration, that the amount of solid contents in the food and the frequency of feeding. So uh, when we say it in the example of a biodigest uh, bio plant, the frequency of feeding is the time gap we, in which we uh, supply the waste materials to the plant. So it means the frequency of feeding. So the next is contact. As the earlier two factors are food and bacteria, when they both come together and contact with, get contact with each other, then only the process will happen. So uh, the contact of the bacteria with the organic matter by mixing and the mixing, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, contact comes by mixing. And there are two methods for it. One is natural mixing, when the gas is produced. So as the gas produced, the bacteria or the waste materials move on and they get co come in contact with each other and the process happens. And the next is mechanical mixing by stirring, which mostly happens in the case of a uh, biogas plant, etc. And the third is, uh, and the fourth is the time. We know the process of digestion takes time. More the time, better the digestion process will be. So these four are the basic factors. Now let's move on to the environmental factors. First factor is temperature. As I earlier said, the time, the time is a factor, basic factor, which affects the biodigestion, and the time is affected by the temperature. So, if it is uh, in an optimal temperature range, then the time taken for the uh, digestion will be less. So, as the point says, the time required for digestion depends on the temperature at which it, at which it happens, as I said, and it may increase and decrease according to temperature within the limit. And the second factor is pH. As we know, pH is a con amount of concentration of hydrogen atoms. The optimum pH for digestion of organic waste is the range 6.8 to 7.2 pH. Now last but not the least, the toxics. The toxic means this there are some materials which slow down the digestion process. And the materials are alkali and alkaline earth cations, such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Heavy metals, 
such as copper, nickel, and zinc. Ammonia and ammonium ions, and the last, sulfates and some organic compounds. The presence of such material slowed down the digestion process, as I earlier said. Now, let's summarize the topic we discussed. The factors, of, factors affecting biodigestion can be classified as two. Basic factors and environmental factors. The first basic factor is bacteria. There are two types of bacteria, acid formers. As I said, acid formers convert the organic waste into acids and their optimum pH range for their good working is 4.5 to 6.5. And next is methogens. Methogens convert the organic waste to methane gas. Their optimum pH range for good working is 6.5 to 7.6. And the next factor is food. As I said, food acts as a, uh, food for uh, the organic waste acts as food for bacteria. They contain complex, they contain complex organic material. The two factors of food which can be controlled are uh, which controlled by us or which affects our digestion are solid concentration and frequency of feeding, which I explained earlier. And the third is contact. We, as I said, bacteria and food come in contact, then only the process will happen. There are uh, for contact we, uh, we do mixing. And the two types of mixing are natural mixing, uh, which happens by itself when the gas is produced, and the ne uh, next is artificial mixing, which we which is done by stirring. And the fourth basic factor is time. The more time, better digestion, as I said earlier. Now let's move on to environmental factors. The first factor is temperature. It may increase or decrease according to uh, the, uh, the time which uh, for the time taken for the uh, biodigestion may increase or decrease according to temperature within a limit. And the next is pH. Optimum pH range is 6.8 to 7.2, as I said. And toxic. The presence of uh, the substance reduces period of digestion. The uh, substance which are, which are referred here are alkali and alkali earth cations such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Uh, heavy metals such as copper, nickel, and zinc. Ammonia and ammonium ions. Sulfites and some organic compounds. So this is the summary of the uh, topics we discussed here. Hope you all understood the topic. Thank you.